Hey guys, welcome into Two Dudes One Couch. We're playing some more Turtles in Time. I'm Roger. That's Corey. Yes. And uh, this is a good game. <laughs> if we, uh, if you didn't know, yeah. If, if you've never played this before, wow, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> you're really missing out. Don't worry, we got continue. Yeah, get that continue. I'm gonna change up the character since I can. I'm gonna be get Leo, dude. Yeah. yeah. That suck, Leo. My brother's favorite Ninja Turtle is is Leo. I liked Leo for a long time, but there's just something about Raph, man. Yeah. I was I was always a Raph guy, dude. I'm a bit of a hothead myself. I can get real pissed in the moment. Yeah. I, I say I, that I, I, I'm, I'm mostly calm and collected, but, you know, whenever it comes down to it, I'm a Raphael at heart. Yeah. Just yeah, I think Ra it out. I think Raphael acts how I want to act. Yeah. Uh, how, I, how I feel inside. <laughs> He's a representation of what I want to be like. Dude, have you, um, you said that he's, he's a representation. Have you ever created an alter ego? Uh, I, I guess so. Okay, so, <laughs> some of my work friends, if they're, if they're watching this, they, they might, they might get a good laugh at this, because at my last job, King's Landing, um, we were just starting out, so, you know, cells were very important, you know, getting numbers was really important. And I am, I'm a good salesman, like I'm good at talking to people and being honest with them, but like pushing products and stuff on people, never yeah, been good at. Yeah, that's hard to do. So I made this over the top personality that I would bust out every now and then. Um, it originated at a, at a convention. Uh, we were working with the store and uh, I started selling a, a couple high-end video games. I sold a box copy of Evo on the SNES. Uh, and I was like, man, I just made some big sales. I came up with the name Big Ticket Raj. <laughs> and with Big Ticket Raj, I came up with the whole personality for this character. And I ran with it all day. And there were several shifts at work that I ran with it. I was like, I'm going to be Big Ticket Raj today. It really and, does. It re <laughs> that and, kind of thing does make a difference, too. And essentially, you know, he was this, this uh, I don't know, if it was like a mafia boss. I don't know exactly what I was doing with it, but it'd be like... Big ticket rods, you're gonna gonna sell you some high end products. That was not a good representation. <laughs> <laughs> gonna sell you some high end products. Yeah, high end pro it, it was just a very over the top character, you know. High protein diet, high protein stains, you know. Very <laughs> thick, very opaque. You can see them on my pants from miles away. That's how you know that it's Big Ticket Raj, okay? <laughs> Big Ticket Raj is gonna sell you a Retron 5 today. I'll tell you why you need to leave with this system in your hands, alright? And uh, people would always ask because we had a kitchen in there, like, like, and I have a big beard. Uh, people were like, you, you're not cooking any of the food in the kitchen. Like, How do you think it tastes so good? And Big Ticket Raj ain't back there touching all over your food. Okay? <laughs> you're going to order it. You're going to oh, order a second. You're going to order an appetizer. Let's uh, get around this dude. You get it with one side and I'll come to the other. Well, we we running right. a train on him? Yeah. Big Ticket <laughs> Raj. <laughs> he runs a train on, okay? We gotta he run, we he gotta runs do. a train. There it is. He's running a train, you know, high protein diet, high protein stain. I eat the crunchy peanut butter for the extra protein, you know. <laughs> Big ticket, Raj. Bust that bank, okay, to get the crunchy peanut butter. You like Full crunchy of protein. peanut butter? You better believe Big ticket, Raj. He likes the <laughs> crunchy peanut butter. Uh, that's going to be the poll for me. <laughs> crunchy or smooth? Crunchy or smooth. Big ticket, Raj says it's crunchy, all right? <laughs> you get more protein in your diet, you get more... More protein stains, okay? More bang for your buck. <laughs> very viscous, <laughs> very opaque. You can see the protein stains from a mile away. Dude, that is Guys. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I just gotta, I gotta say it. I can't just let it sit. <laughs> like, that is some nasty stuff. You think it raw is repulsive, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it's kind of what you have to be to push items on people so yeah, hard. If you're going to be a salesman, you got to get skeezy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a high protein diet, okay? This is not no cheap powder. This is crunchy peanut butter. I'm eating it every day. It gives me high protein stains, very thick, God very, dang, very dude. opaque, okay? Oh, dude, what the hell? <laughs> you see them from a mile away. It don't matter if it's your sister, if it's your mom, oh, they're, if it's your you girlfriend. The, I draw she the see, line. <laughs> she see these protein stains. She knows she wants a part a big ticket Raj, okay? Oh, God dang, dude, what the heck? Oh, I died. It's all good. You can be a uh, <laughs> Mikey. Oh, you mean? I'll come back and Zonny. <laughs> I'm all right there. 
Yeah, big ticket Rogers is not my kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to bring him in for the show more often, you know. I mean, uh, I guess. the big ticket Rogers. I'll have to make it. I'll have to make my skis. Gonna make character. it to the strength. Gonna do Twitch. <laughs> you should. Uh, you gonna Twitching, man? Uh, if you uh, stream Twitch, uh, you're gonna have a face cam, so uh, yeah. you're gonna we're gonna be able to see those things. <laughs> you see, you see. If I get on the Twitch, you see the high protein diet. You see the high protein stuff. Okay. Steins. You yeah. see the Steins. Big ticket, Raj. He's gonna get on the Twitch. <laughs> oh, high protein. Di- I ate a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, crunchy all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know. I think you could just stream if you just go as big ticket, Raj. Yeah. You had the. Uh, you just go uh, on stream with a jar of crunchy peanut butter and yeah. sit there and eat it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we are going to, we're working on uh, tweaking everything up, getting our Twitch ready so we can start a, a regular stream basis. Maybe maybe we'll have to put an episode in there. You're like, you tune in this day if you want to see Big Ticket Rock. Yeah, it's if you want to see it live in the flesh, <laughs> Big Ticket Rock. If, if you want to see me eat a peanut butter sandwich. If you want to see the protein on. stains from <laughs> miles away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mom and sister to come in the room. <laughs> Okay, because they're going to be very thick. They're very opaque. I only wear the blackest pants so you can get the whitest tights. Okay? <laughs> that ain't peanut butter you're looking at, all right? It's a result of it. <laughs> it's the protein stains. Oh, man. Ragu, my dude. Yeah. And I did that at a store full of people. Two customers. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Did, 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 did you sell anything? Oh, yeah. I hit them Yu-Gi-Oh nerds hard with it, man. So it actually works. My favorite. Yeah. Any aspiring salesmen out there? There you go. We, we Pro had tips. A, so at the, the convention where uh, we where I came up with Big Ticket Rod, um, we also had a really, really a good moment there, too, of, of thinking of ways to push the store because we're handing out tons of cards and flyers. To get people in, like, because it's a really unique idea. There's a cafe in there, tons of board games up front, video games and arcades in the back. Plus, there's plenty of tables. We did magic and all that good stuff, but also we had beer. So we started. Me and the other guy that we're working on, we were just handing out the flyers. We'll find dads uh, with with a lot of kids, um, and we would just Stressed hand them a flyer. Dudes. Yeah, <laughs> we'd hand them a flyer like, "Hey, man, we got beer." And that's all we would say about it is that we had beer. I'm just swinging at nothing, telling the story. And they're like, oh, I'm in. Let's do it. Yeah. Every time, man, they were always pumped. They're like, There's... oh, I hit the mic. There's beer? You guys got beer? Big Ticket Rod has always got the beer. <laughs> what, the, what the heck is that? That's my, that's my, uh. Big Ticket Rod here. <laughs> Gonna break the news to you. I guess that was more of a 50s. Breaking news. There are alien ships. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're coming in. And they are sending jars of peanut butter everywhere. High protein diet. High protein saints. Signing out. Big Ticket Rod here with the hottest news. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a, like a prize fighter announcer. Extra, That's extra. Like... Oh, yeah. In this corner, Big Ticket Rod. Yeah, in this corner... Big ticket rod, you'll know him. He's in the trunks with the high protein sayings. <laughs> you don't get those overnight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what this is about anymore, dude. Oh man, get that pizza if you need it. I have a lot more lives than you. Alright. <sighs> Bebop Mara City messing me up, man. That's what they're all about, dude. They just like to cause problems. Do you remember the uh, 90s live-action Ninja Turtles TV show? Uh, with the, the Next Mutation? With the girl Ninja Turtles. Yes, it's awful. <laughs> it was so It's so weird. impossible to watch. It just threw me off big time. Even as a kid, I was like, this doesn't seem right. Yeah, this, this is the right Ninja good. Turtles. <laughs> I don't know. I just I was thinking about that in the last episode, and I forgot to bring it up. But uh, that existed. Yep. It's really weird. Yep, I think it's on Netflix. Oh, for real? Yeah, you can go find it there. Um, yeah, I might watch. I'll give it another chance. There was also the the show right after that the the TMNT show. I think well, it it started out as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and it that's where the TMNT abbreviation 
using titles started from. Oh, okay, gotcha. I think so everybody's I mean, always said TMNT, but you know, it being used on a TV show. Actually, yeah, it, it was a, it was a good Steam. show there too. It was a good one. Is that one on Netflix? I don't think it held up as well though. Oh, uh, okay. No. Like now, it might not be as good, but as a kid, yeah, I loved the crap out of it. Came on the Fox box, dude. Dude, Fox had all the best cartoons mm -hmm. when we were kids. Although there was like weird shows on like a uh, I don't know maybe ABC or something like that like Science Court. Yeah. And uh, there's like a, there was a show about mythology. They would always talk about uh oh they would go through different mythological characters and like yeah. Their did story. you did you want to watch that on Saturday morning though? Yes. When there well, were cartoons on Fox. Well, what happened was is it was like so after Fox was done showing cartoons, uh, other channels kept going. I think that's because they yeah. knew. That if we put cartoons after Fox, people might actually watch our cartoons. Yeah. I mean, that was like the best, the best four-hour block of TV of all time, man. Yeah, it's you know, hey. and I'm so sad for kids of this, yeah. this, like, yeah, this no, day and no age. No more Saturday morning cartoons on regular TV. That's crazy, dude. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> like you know, it was a like I guess now you have all the videos you want on demand, but that's yeah. not. It doesn't feel the same. Yeah, but you're supposed to get like a big bowl of. Fruity Pebbles or something. Yeah. Sit down and watch. Let them get soggy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that. Not again. that. <laughs> um, and you're supposed to watch some cartoons on Saturday. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I still want to do. Uh, I would love to do that again. <laughs> There's a. Um, and there was always uh, other cool shows like uh, uh, Tales from the Crypt Keep. Like, the Crypt oh, Keeper yeah. had like a game Tales show type thing, like an obstacle course. Uh, kind of like Legends of the Hidden Temple, uh -huh. but Crypt Keeper. That was super cool. I have some old uh, VHS tapes I used to record Saturday morning oh. cartoons <laughs> on my VCR, and I still have them, dude. So if you're ever in the, I I am really actually very interested in those. So. I think I have some of the commercials on there too, just for oh, dude, old times' sake. The best. Probably have some Digimon episodes. Oh yeah, dude, Digimon was a crap, man. It's it's so much better than Pokemon. I'll say it. I'll say yeah, it. Yeah, the show. Wise, the show is yeah. Game wise, you Pokemon takes it, but the show. I mean, Digimon was, dude, it was next level. Yeah, it was, it was great. Next level. It was awesome. Which I haven't played any of the new Digimon games for the, like the PS4, like Cyber Yeah, I haven't Sleuth either. And, yeah. So I don't know if they're good or not. They might be. I heard they were. Really? Mhm. Mm dude, that might be fun then. Might be yeah. fun to check those out because I, man, I love me some Digimon, dude. I had a whole freaking tin of Digimon cards. Man, I just. Those barely. cards are hard to come by now too. Really. Yeah, at least in the wild. Oh, no. I thought they might be, and I'm kind of bummed out because mine are gone, man. I don't know if it was like a garage sale thing or what. Yeah. I saw lots of cards come through. I dealt with tons of cards in my last job. But, um... I had Weregarurumon. I had Gabumon. We had Tintomon. I never saw those cards roll through. Really? Yeah, and man, I was always surprised because I figured that I would. I saw plenty of, like, Dragon Ball Z cards and stuff rolling through, and that was always a good blast from the past, but, you know, I thought I would see more of those Digimon cards, and I didn't. Damn, I took a spill on that one. So I'm so focused on L-Head over here. Leatherhead? <laughs> it's pizza time, dude. It's always pizza time for me. I'm always... <laughs> always ready for some pizza time. Dude, that... Barrel came out of nowhere. He Dude, he's just throwing he knives, cheating. man. This guy's dangerous. <laughs> Who does he think he is? I don't like that move, dude, where they get spin sends me spinning like wild. Like buck wild. Oh, here we go. Oh, buck Let's wild. Celebrate. We just killed him. Too easy. Very much shell that wounded me. One of the more memorable, <laughs> quotable things. Like that that's spoken to you? Yeah. Oh, this game is so good, dude. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look where we're going. Neon Knight Rider. 2020, that is in two years, guys. If anybody has really good <laughs> memories of Ninja Turtles or like a favorite moment or anything that they want to say, you should definitely put it in the comments below because Corey's usually the guy that's all about putting stuff in the comments below and I'm all for it. But I would really love to read that. Good frame. Yep. I would really love to, to read some Ninja Turtle stuff and connect with some people over some Ninja Turtles. Yeah, definitely. It's, a, awesome. it's the biggest thing to connect over. But I think we're going to call an episode for now. Um, 
And I really want to do this level. You want to do one more? Yeah, let's do it. And uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, check out all the stuff below the video yeah. that uh, we always talk about. Check that stuff out. Yeah, and, get that uh, description. We got those links in there. Yeah, and with that, man, game over. Cowabunga. <laughs>